Hello everybody, it's me Christian and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you um, a 1.15 farm or I should say an auto harvester farm where you're making use of the buzzy bees to grow crops here and then from here we can we can use them to like we can use the system here to collect all of the loot probably you'll be wondering why exactly I'm going to be showing this showing this kind of farm now that we have something like um, villagers who can like auto farm everything for you the main reason is this kind of farm uh, works for a majority of the types of, cross, the types of crops you can use and unlike the villager farms you can't farm netherwort <laughs> you can't farm netherwort it doesn't work so you, the only way you can farm netherwort efficiently is by making an auto harvesting farm so that's what they're going to be making today and to get started, we're just gonna let me just get rid of all this stuff here. We're gonna have to start by building a five, I don't know, eight by seven farmland here. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let the up. And then you get some stairs here, spruce, uh, any kind of slab, trap door, redstone torch, and that, redstone dust, and this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start with using some kind of, uh, we're going to start making the, the collection system here. First we're going to arrange this part here, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna put like our stairs here. We're gonna do that like this, like that, and then for the same thing on this side. We're gonna do this, nope, and like that. This will make some kind of like throw, so that you can like put. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like a throw or something. It was a throw. Basically, you just want to have like a pan of water just so that your crops can be hydrated next on the same side you gotta do the same thing this is actually better compared to like having a single piece of water in the middle of the farm because if, when you have a piece of water in the middle of the farm it kind of ruins the whole uh, harvesting situation it's like there's always something there blocking everything and i really don't like that so i just have my water streams on my water containers here at the side and now we're gonna head over here at the back. We're gonna make it two blocks wide. And then from here we're gonna like go up a bit. Put blocks there. Here. And below over there we're gonna put like a slab. Break this. Okay. And then here, same thing, we're gonna like cover this up. And that should now work. Next, we're gonna put trap doors. We're gonna arrange the trap doors like this. Wait! Sorry, wrong side. <laughs> Let's do it over here. And then you gotta put your redstone dust here. Your torch there. This should open everything up. And once everything's open, you can start putting in your water, like so. Next, you're gonna use um, you're gonna use a wooden button. It's better to use a wooden button rather than a stone button because the tick, uh, the tick count or the tick time is actually much longer when you have a wooden button. So it makes harvesting a lot easier, in a sense. Next, we're gonna. 
we're gonna start by um, we're gonna start by getting some dirt here. I'm just gonna use grass block because it actually looks nicer. We put grass here. Oh, and maybe not over there. And then we're gonna get some beehives. We're gonna put them here. Make sure it's facing this way so that the bees will exit from here in the hole rather than exit from the back. So it has to face especially right here so that they'll exit from there. Next we're gonna cover this up. And then we're gonna cover this up directly in front of the redstone. Like so. Lastly, we're gonna put some kind of glass here. You can put like any light source, but I prefer to just use a uh, normal glass and then put some uh, put some sea lanterns in between. So I'm just gonna do this. See if some sea lanterns here. Another set of glass here. This is basically just for lighting purposes, but if you want to arrange the light in a more aesthetic way, it's, it's all up to you as long as there's some light here that helps. Next, we're gonna get some flowers. You can use any type of flower that you choose, but me, I prefer the corn flower because, I don't know, for me, the corn flower just looks really nice. I'm gonna put it in a row like that. I'm gonna get some more glass. I'm gonna use this like this. And then I'm just gonna cover this here with glass. And then from here I'm just gonna cover cover it up with some planks. Just to cover up the dirt and make it look a lot nicer. And then that should work. Next, from behind we're gonna break this block. Gonna add here another set, and then from here we're gonna put some signs, or maybe some fence gates. And open them up, go here, break it, and then from here we're gonna. We're gonna get any kind of door you like. I'm just gonna use a spruce door because I don't know it looks nice with all of the uh, with all of the iron in between. Open it up. Get some water. Do that. Go down over here. Put some water there. So the water stream should now be working. Get a hopper, and then get yourself a chest. Put the chest over there. Get put your put your hopper here, and it should not work. Good. Now the next thing you probably want to do is you're probably gonna put some stairs. Just so that it makes it easier to like get up on the platform. Nice. Next, we're gonna get the, ourselves a hole, and a carrot. I prefer to do this like before, before I put the bees, because it's kind of like annoying when you have bees here, and then you try hoeing, you might accidentally hit them, and then they're gonna start coming after you. 
it's really annoying. So once you're done hoeing, you just put your crops here. And you're all done. The final step is to get some bees. So I'm just gonna use a bee spawn egg and I'm gonna su summon a whole lot of bees. Now it's important that you put your bees last because if you put them before they're gonna start escaping and then you're gonna lose a lot of bees. So it's better like put them last and then make sure everything's working and then you put the bees. Just also make sure that you have like a water water door here. This prevents the bees from escaping whenever you go out the door. So with that said, the farm's already done. The bees will try to pollinate the farm whenever they pass by. This will allow the crops to grow faster. Oh, yeah, they're pollinating really fast right now. And then this button here will just make it so that the crops will be harvested. And to show this, let's just harvest it once. Everything is being pulled all the way to the um, hopper here. Oh, I actually forgot to do something there. Sometimes uh, the hopper might not be able to pick up items, so it's better to put like a trap door here, just so to prevent the items from spilling over. And now the farm's already done. Again, uh, normally villagers, the villager farms like this, uh, they tend to be. Uh, I mean, all the harvester farms they tend to be obsolete, but because you can't create, you can't um, farm nether nether work, it's better to keep this kind of design. At the same time, it's very efficient, or I should say, it's very cheap because all you all you're gonna need is probably one bu water bucket, some trap doors, and then one hopper and a chest. That's all you need to do, and a few bits of redstone, and you're probably it. Thank you for watching and this is the cheapest um, auto harvester for Minecraft 1.16, I mean 1.15. Thank you and goodbye.